All right. Daria. Daria wants to interview. Oh, Daria, sweet. All right. All right. All right. All right. Team interview here. <laughs> All right. Okay, you rolling? We All right, we're rolling. Stalkers. Am I looking at you? Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Okay. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> so, Kyle Brady, you're going to be a senior? Yeah, senior. So, how's it been? It's been great. I love it up here. I, I can't believe it's gone by so quick. I can't believe I've already been here for five years. It's crazy. What, what is this year shaping up for? I mean, how is, is the linebacking core looking this year specifically? Oh, I think we're looking really good as, as linebacking core. We have three senior starters, and we have Sly and uh, Loma, who is also a senior, and those two can come in and play any one of the positions. And I, I think that that's probably the heart of the defense right now is, is the linebacking core, just from our experience and uh, just from our leadership standpoint. Okay, and so if we got three seniors starting this year, not to jump ahead too much, but we got people to fill in next year when you guys are gone, right? Yeah, there's a couple of kids coming home off missions, uh, off of Garrigan and Greg Bird, if anybody remembers them. And then Sly will be a junior, and uh, Matt Martinez is coming along pretty good. And then there's actually a couple walk-ons who are doing pretty good, uh, Mike Wright and Tatum Bell, or Tatum Drexel, not Bell, sorry. Um, so they're coming along pretty good, so next year they'll be fine. Okay, now let's talk about the defense this year. Now we lost some obviously significant players in the in the backfield. Who's stepping up and how's that looking? Um, Sean Smith and Bryce McCain are stepping up big time. Joe Dell also. Tate's always solid. But our defense is a lot different One than it's been in the years past. We got a lot more speed this year. Staff is and mostly Not last couple years we got a lot more strength this year. Like. This year our defense is really fast. So the uh, we, we have Lori a little bit more speed, a little bit more athleticism than we have in years past, which will help out. Does, she is does that change uh, the approach to defense, the speed? Do we do anything differently? Or? No, it's, it's, the same, it's the same stuff. The same, just the personnel is a little bit quicker than we have in the years past. So uh, it might be four or four or four or something or whatever. So with that introduction, like. with our next but, selection, we uh, feature overall, the Fabian Issue Crimson Line and the Doobie Brothers in from 1976. Range for the band by time. Hey, how about the defensive line? Ladies and gentlemen, taking it to the streets. Okay. You done? Okay. We hear all about Laurier up in the crimson line there. Yeah, okay, great. <laughs> so, let's talk about the defensive line. Uh, how much depth do we have there? I know our starters look pretty solid. Yeah, they're, they're coming along good too, just like the DBs are. We got we got enough depth there, and that has to be a three or four or five man rotation just because those guys are going hard every play and they're so big, they just need, they just got to get a little bit of a break. But we have plenty of depth there. There's. A lot of young guys that are coming along there too, uh, Aaron Tonga, Nelly Ahasa, and a couple other guys. Lay Talamaveo actually is a freshman, and they're, they're getting better every day in practice, which is what we need, so we'll be fine at the D-line too. Okay, now let's just switch over to the O-line. We lost a big, big part of that yeah. that line there. Are we going to be okay? Yeah, the that's a huge loss. Boone is probably, in my opinion, he's probably the best tackle that was in the whole league. And to have him go down like that was just a huge loss for us. But um, Coach Witt always says, if, so, if a soldier goes down, pick up the rifle and keep going. And the other guys have stepped in. We made a few changes. I think everyone knows Beetle moved out to tackle, and they moved Corey into guard. And uh, they're coming to care, they're coming along and gelling. And it, even though that's a big loss, they're stepping it up, and we're going to be fine at offensive line. Okay, now I'm going to put you on the spot just a little bit here. When you were recruited here to Utah, you wanted to play offense. <laughs> what yeah. happened, and how do you feel about it? Oh, uh, I, I, I kind of figured when I very first got up here the first week that I was going to be Ladies switched. and gentlemen, the Ute Crimson Line. Uh, they talked about, oh, yeah, you'll the start a receiver. And then squad are a hard when group. all those running backs went down that year, I switched to running back. But Coach Smith always came to me basically every show. week and always said, this year, you know, you're, you know, you know you're getting, getting ready to play linebacker, right? got to put some weight on. So I, I kind of knew that it was you're coming, so it wasn't that it wasn't that big of a deal. It was just a little different learning the linebacker from playing corner my whole life. Across the south so into the stadium. It took me a while to get we used to it, but us at I'm used to it now, and I love it. September 7th. So for the first I, you were recruited South by that South team down South, 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 South. Yeah. What uh, what turned your head in favor of Utah? Um. Well, first off, Coach Meyer, when he recruited me, just the stuff that he said Ladies to me just made me want to made me want to be a part of all that. And also, I mean, obviously they told me I'd have opportunity to play offense, which was something that I wanted to do, but. Mostly it was just because the players that were here and the players that I came on a recruiting trip with 
Actually, uh, apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Me and Weddle kind of hit it show. off right when we first Michael came Jackson's up. Kind of said, if you, were, if you commit, then I'll commit. So he committed on Saturday, and I committed on Monday. So that, that worked was, out. Yeah, that was another big reason, is just because the players that were around up here. I loved, I loved all the guys, and I love it up here. I wouldn't want to be anyplace else. All right, well, Kyle, uh, thank you so much, and uh, we look forward to just a great oh, senior thank, season. Thank you very much.